Well, we made it back. 90, 96 cents worth of bowls. More change. More change. Yeah. I think there were six millimeter. I don't know. I don't remember. Six. Looks like it's a ten. Ten bowl, but I don't know. Oh no, got a little drips. I'll be wet now. All right, gonna get these screws in there. Get that wheel center ball to back up and uh, get those brake shoes in there. Yeah. Anyways, took a couple pictures of the brake shoes so you could see the formation of the spring setup. But uh, it goes from here. This is the front board. From here to that hole there. Right there, and on the back side, it goes from here to there. That's where I had it set up. And, uh, and he said uh, no. But it makes the most sense out of it to assemble this all. And I had to really work on this thing here because it was really froze up. I'm sure that's one of the reasons why the rear brakes hang up and, and such things as that. So, all right, get at it. And uh, that's the wheel cylinder number if you needed that. They're both the same. Cendric, Cendric is the ones we're using because that's the only ones available around here. Got a bee flying around driving me nuts. Yep. And some or other I lost the ratchet already. Lost the ratchet already. Set, set the box on it. Yeah, same size as the other ones. That was like $57, $57 for an O2 sensor and um, two wheel cylinders. Big money, huh? All right, that's what she looks like after she's back together. Spring there. And two springs across the center. Both of those guys on. And the spring at the bottom. All right, maybe this will help somebody. And then I'm bleeding the that one there, and uh, it's a uh, five sixteenths. That's what we get to listen to every day. That's a young kid down around the corner. That uh, young kid around the corner. That's about all I can say. Young kid down around the corner. And also, I'm going to slow down a little bit when he turns to go down his road. So, all right. So I let Glavity bleed for a little bit. As you can tell, it's dripping down the back. back and I used my 5 16 and I shut it off. Now, I usually have somebody here to help him but uh, they're working in at the beach. So, so just tighten that off. You can put your plug back on there if you want for now. You know where it's at. And I'm gonna stick my drum on there and try to adjust some of the brake up so um, as best as possible because there is no adjuster hole back here. No adjuster hole there and it's supposed to be self-adjusting but it never does. It doesn't self-adjust 
something about backing up, hitting the parking brake, hitting the parking brake. We have the parking brake uh, discontabulated because um, because uh, no good. And it pushed that little boot out that I was trying to keep in there. Of course it did. And that is a pain in the butt to put on now. Major pain in the butt. So it's uh, going to stay off, I guess. Pain the bottom. Get that back in there. Take a break. No worky. And uh, I'm going to keep it off. Some, some states you got to have, uh, they're working for inspections, but uh, they not brought that back here yet. the dust. Help suppress the dust when I'm taking this apart. Help suppress the dust. Now I'm told the dust from brake shoes non AB or not A B whatever that stuff was it's not good for you. You can't tell if it is these are the ones or not, so I assume they're not because they look they've been replaced and because they age. So and the dual spring setup may not have been done because it might have been a new update thing that they did. You never know. All of a sudden somebody decides to put two springs on because of what a reason. You know what I'm saying? All the springs are where they're at on the other side, except for just got to replace another spring. See, they're in that hole there. They're in that hole right behind the self adjuster. Look how that self adjuster is way down at the bottom. See how it doesn't work. Probably has to do with this. The spring, this one's way back though way back but they just don't adjust because they're way out of they're just way down here all right gotta get moving welcome back place this wheel cylinder two the screws come out good but I assume that's been replaced at one time or another and you may have a question like uh, why are you replacing the wheel cylinder if it's not leaking um, 
Well, the other side was leaking. And more times than none, I found that if you replace one on one side and you don't replace it on the other side, um, what happens is eventually we'll start leaking. Yep. And then you're back taking this back apart and sliding the wheel cylinder in and you got rear brakes contaminated. Now this is the 2005. Now the 2009 is not here right now. And he's got a leaky, leaky wheel cylinder. These were, these were supposed to go on his truck. So, yeah. So, anyways, you can see the screw down there in the pan. Again, I just put the pan underneath to keep from getting too much junk on the driveway because you can see the spots of stuff that keep continuing to get on the driveway. Once you get it on there, it's hard to get off. All right, so we're going to start working on these shoes. So I'm going to pull these apart. See, it only had one spring. It has that same kind of spring on the back side. So we have two of them here, along with the ones that come in the hardware kit. So we're going to take this apart. I'm going to take this down and back because I don't. I, the grinder I have up here makes a whole lot of noise. So I'm going to take this down and back and use it on the grinder and clean all the rust I can off it. It'll help it for a while, so I'll bring you back when I'm back.